All right, today I'm going to do a demonstration of a common usage pattern in Cloud Extend. Oftentimes you have a Cloud Extend guide or wizard that does some nice work on a single object for you. One example might be if you're in an opportunity and you want to review key fields, I might have this update opportunity wizard. And if I start running that, it'll highlight just a couple of the fields that should be reviewed, things like the uh, stage. So maybe I'm going to move this up to stage four, trial period, the close date, always an important thing to track accurately. So we'll move that up to March 31st. Uh, and the dollar amount, maybe we're going to um, get this up to $105,000. So it's a very nice deal for uh, Acme Dynamite. And if I click continue, it's prompting me to update the next step, uh, get the sample dynamite out to these guys is our next step. And uh, anything else, I could say uh, Acme Dynamite has seen a nice uptick, mainly due to new highway construction in their region. All right, so there's a very simple wizard that is just updating some key fields. The pattern that people will often want to implement in Cloud Extend is one where you run this update, but instead of doing it on just one opportunity, you want to get a list of opportunities and then cycle through those opportunities, updating these key fields in a batch. So let me show you how you would build that in Cloud Extend. I'm over in the Cloud Extend Guide Designer, and I'm going to create a brand new guide. Uh, and this new guide is going to run from the home screen. And what it's going to do is let me select a list of objects uh, and then uh, update those key fields and opportunities. So I'm going to call this um, Opportunity Updater. And now I'm going to set this step not as a screen step or not as an automated step, but it's going to use an embedded guide. And the embedded guide we're going to use is that Update Opportunity guide that I like so much. But now instead of running it on just a single object, I'm going to run it on every list in an object until we reach the end of the list. And I'm going to get that list from the screen. So just to uh, backtrack here, what I have now is an embedded guide step that's going to iterate over a list and update those key fields. Now there's one thing I haven't done yet. I need to go in and tell Cloud Extend which opportunities to display to the user in the list. And to do that, I'm going to come in, I'm going to say show a list. Oh, by the way, I just, this applies to field means we're going to apply the embedded guide to the objects that are selected by this query. So I'm going to say, let's show a list based on an object query. And I'm going to use Cloud Extend's query builder to build that query. And very simply, I just want every opportunity where the, where the opportunity owner, so the owner ID, is equal to the current user ID. So that way, whoever runs this guide, they'll only get a list of their opportunities. So when I click OK, I've got that condition in place. And you notice I can allow filtering. I can paginate the results. Uh, I can pick what fields I want to put in. So let, let, let's actually do that. We'll put in the opportunity name. We'll put in the opportunity owner. And we should probably put in the amount. Those would be interesting fields. OK, so I think I got that. I'm going to click OK. Don't really have to do this, but I'm going to set an end step here just so we say we've reached the end of that branch of the logic. Save it. Publish it. Here's our home screen, and I've got this opportunity updater. So watch what happens when I run that. I'll get a list of all the opportunities for which I'm the owner. Uh, you can see only I'm listed here. Uh, and now I can um, do a number of things. I could just select all of these and cycle through them. I could sort by the amount. Uh, I could have filtered it by close date. I could have said, just show me deals from this quarter. I could have said, just show me deals over a certain amount. Notice that I can uh, filter this down uh, directly, even at runtime, to just the deals with global. And then I can say which ones I want to uh, run my opportunity updater on. If I didn't filter using a global, uh, I could you know, do all of these, or I can come through and pick just certain ones. So I'll pick a few. 
And when I click continue, now I get that screen again where I'm able to go in and update just the key fields. And of course, uh, if the deal didn't close in 2012, it probably isn't going to close, but we'll move that up to 2013 and uh, you know maybe add a little money to it for inflation. And then we're going to be asked to enter the next step, just as we were before, uh, find out why this didn't close in 2012. And I could even put a note on that particular one. So test note for demo. When I click continue, now the next opportunity comes up and I could go through and uh, set all of these fields again. So that's the end of this demo. Just wanted to show how once you have a wizard that works on a single object, you can then use that wizard by on a selected list of objects to iterate through and in a batch mode, update lots of information in Salesforce.